o'clock. Yo! Fog one. I don't know about you guys, but I'm kind of sick and tired of seeing people talk about Nadia on YouTube and stuff like that, bro. But at the same time, <laughs> I don't really care anymore. So, hey, you know what's really bugging to me? It's like I keep seeing people saying that Swag is taking, picking up for Nadia. Swag is trying to help Nadia. He just trying to. They saying that. That's that. They see that's what Swag's trying to do, but. In all actuality, does anyone ever take the time to realize that Nadia is built like bread? And I'm not talking the loaf, I'm talking about a slice, nigga. She flat as hell. I've seen people say, oh my God, when she gets Paris, she's gonna start an OnlyFan. Who watching that? Who watching that? She got two Fruit Loops on her chest, nigga. She got no breasts, like what are we talking about here? Hey bro, I might just get canceled, I'm not gonna lie, but who buying those, who buying anything, bro? Her hands are bigger than mine's. Her hands, Look like man gloves, bro. Oh my God, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? I'm buckled, yo. She got four fingers and a cock on her hand, bro. What the hell? Put your goddamn cock away. Oh my God. Why are these men all over me? Cause you look like a pole. Something to lean on. What are you talking about? <sighs> Oh, sorry, ma'am. I didn't notice you there. You just blended in. The fuck? She built like my iPhone. She built like Plank from Ed and Nettie. She built like Karen from SpongeBob. All head, no body. God damn. Well, I'm positive I'm getting canceled after this. You're goddamn right. What? Goddamn. It is what it is. It is. It is what it is. <sighs> but anyway, <clears throat> what I'm actually here to talk about is does anybody notice? How different they treated Nadia and how they treated Shifty when Shifty was getting called out. Now Shifty got called out, but Nadia is by far way more. Uh, I don't. She, she's been called out way harder than he was. Does that make sense? She has been more talked about than he was. Not only did Shifty have to go out of his house to fly somewhere else and play the game in front of people he didn't know on a different setup. Nadia, oh, the only thing she had to do was, oh, uh, yeah, I, I did play those other games and uh, yeah, what the fuck is going on here? Is it, are you interviewing her? Like just asking her questions? Why isn't she not getting the same treatment that Shifty got it? Yo, like niggas came out with bitches and forks, but Shifty was called out. Yo, get that nigga son, get that nigga son. Like, bro, wait, wait. What, what about Nadia? Ooh, I need a vagina and two Fruit Loops on my chest. That if that's all it takes. <laughs> but people don't understand why Swag is actually backing Nadia. There's a good reason why he's backing her so much. Think about it. Swag has been the person that's been going out of his way for no apparent reason, saying that, well, I don't think she cheats. Because if you actually think about it, Swag is one of the reasons she blowed up so big. And not because he was protecting her, but because he played with her when he laughed at a video of her washing dishes. Now, that domino affected into something else. First, the domino affected him laughing at her washing dishes. Now he feels like he has to make up for that. So he plays a game with her, giving her some clout. Then after that, he said, you know what? Double down on it and said, you know what? I don't think she's cheating. I don't think she's cheating. And then double down again on a live stream that not many people saw or know about and said, well, if you think she's cheating, well, I'm cheating too. Said the same people that says she cheats are the same people that say I cheat. So if you're sitting here gonna talk shit that, about her, then you're talking shit about me. So then why even watch the stream? So how do you think that look if Nadia actually comes out and she's cheating? Well, I'm guessing that Swag's cheating too. But wait, Swag actually has a plan to prove that she's not cheating. He's gonna let her open up her task manager, all that stuff, and to prove that she's not cheating. But at the same time of proving that she wasn't cheating, she killed somebody that was VPNing and exposed her using a VPN. Even though she pulled up her task manager, she was fumbling with the keyboard and still was proven to be cheating while he was trying to debunk her of cheating. So that just makes him look like a clown. I don't know about this one, Chris. The task manager. This concerns me. I I'm not sure why when she touches her keyboard, 
this Elgato no signal thing pops up, it's kind of weird that as soon as she touches the keyboard, this pops up. So what is she doing? Now, I want you guys to look at Chris. Look at him. Not now, but when I unpause it, look at him. He's looking like he's praying that his homie doesn't snitch and they go to jail and he gets his ass clap in prison. That's how it, that's the look that he has on his face when I unpause the video. Oh no. Wait, how do I, I gotta like, like this. How but my honest question. Bro, my phone vibrated on my nuts and this shit just started rocking. I'm not gonna lie. You good, nigga? God damn. <laughs> hey, y'all, don't put your phone in your lap. Don't put your phone in your lap. But my, uh, my question is, my question is, my, my question is, if Shifty had to do all of that, why isn't he, why isn't Nadia treated the same way? Why isn't she treated the same way? This is the first time that I've ever seen a content creator like Swag try just to prove someone not cheating. Have you ever seen that? Have you ever seen that? He makes content out of it like it's a like it's a game. It is a game. But you know what? In life, this is a common thing. Like I really just sat down and thought about it like this is a common thing. Life has rules, but not everyone lives by them. And people go around them. You can get around them. If you know a lot of people, you might be a little better. I'm telling you, you know people in this world. You could skate past and do a lot of things you shouldn't. You could buy your way through a lot of things. But now we also have Sensor trying to prove, well, not even prove, but want to talk about the subject of Nadia cheating. But he's on Twitter like he's Batman. Oh, I am inevitable. Like, bro, wait, wait, calm down, calm down. Down and show us the facts. Give us the information. Calm your Batman looking ass down. Who you think you are? Uh, if they want to sue me, please fucking sue me, you fucking piece of shit. I will laugh in your face. I will literally look at you in my fucking Armani suit. That's worth more than your whole fucking cheating company combined. Actually, maybe it's not your cheating company. It's probably worth millions. My suit's only worth one million. Did he just say his suit was worth a million dollars? My bad, nigga. Yo, my bad. He just might be Batman for real. <laughs> he just might. What kind of suit is that? It's a regular ass suit with a tie and a... You don't have like a belt or a, a gas grenade? Something? Battering? One million dollars? Wait a minute, this nigga just might be Batman. Well, look at you in my Armani suit and laugh at your pathetic fucking face, dude. How much you benching right now? Good question, t Dog. You know what? He just might be Batman. He just went from talking about his million dollar suit to what he's bench pressing. Like, what kind of chat conversation is this? But also, if you really think about it, a lot of people don't know Sensor. Do you know Sniper Wolf? This is a fine specimen. She's, she's probably batshit insane, but nonetheless, a fine specimen. Bro, she wanted to put that on my boy. Like, hey, yo, y'all gotta put some respect on my boy's name. I ain't gonna lie. Now, I'm not even gonna hold you. I'm gonna be honest. People say that Sniper Wolf might be insane, but I'm telling you, if she says, yo, Tino, I need you to lay this pipe, I'm laying pipe until there's no more pipe. I'm clearing out like it's a goddamn clearing sale. I'm clearing out. It's gonna be all gone. I swear to God. Now, guys, let's go back and remember that the world is good. Seeing the yams in such a beautiful and vulnerable state is a reminder to us that although hell is upon us, the heavens still take their time to shine and smile upon our lowly lives and remind us that life is very good. Bumbaclad, yo! Like the video, subscribe, <laughs> share the video, all that good stuff, and I'll see you. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Put a smile on your face. I'll see you in the next video. I knew in the beginning I was different. Niggas told me slow down, I wouldn't listen. Put my foot on the gas and now I get it. I look back for my niggas and they was missing. I double back and went and got them, I won't leave them.